Hi everyone, I'm back with some ideas for Mother's Day and I've been sent some brilliant products by some small companies so I'm going to show you what we've got. If you also check out the blog it's got the full list of the items with links to their websites. So first we've got this lovely set of incense which if you know anybody who loves to burn it this would be perfect. It includes amber, breathing paradise, dragon blood, Egyptian jasmine, eternal love and frankincense and myrrh. It's a six in one incense pack and it includes the holder as well. And then we've got this from the Spice Kitchen, which is the Indian Spice Tin. It's got nine fragrant spices with a lovingly handmade silk sari gift wrap. And there's all different types on their website. This is just dependent on what they've got. You can't pick the colour, but this is absolutely gorgeous. It's quite heavy and it's apparently be able to refill all the different spices as well. And then we've got this little set from Aaron which is the Isle of Arran up in Scotland. And it's called After the Rain. It's lime, rose and sandalwood. And it's proudly made in Scotland since 1989. There's a bath and shower gel, body lotion, shampoo and soap in there. And that's, uh, I think, £10. If you check out my blog, I've got the full range of prices on there. Then from Britain Lost Baking, they were in my Valentine's gift guide. We've got this set, which is Golden Whiskey Truffles. And with this one, it comes with little mini Proseccos as well. So if you know a baker or if somebody enjoys baking in your life, be it your mum, your sister, whatever, then this would be a really good set for them because then they can enjoy a tipple whilst they're doing it. And from Boutique Gifts, who I mentioned in my Valentine's gift guide, they sent me a letterbox hamper and it's got some chocolate in it. It says, you're my favourite. Some emery boards, some different truffle bites. These ones are caramel and cookie from Monty Bojangles. Apparently this changes depending on what they've got in stock, but these do look really good. We've got a little lip balm, which is an orange flavoured lip balm, apparently. Which I think is really cute and perfect for a handbag. And then we've got a really nice hand cream from Yes Studio. High five and it's pear fragrance. Some tea. Clipper English Tea Shop Organic Chamomile Tea. And a sachet of hot chocolate as well. So if you're not going to be with your mum for Mother's Day, then obviously that would be the perfect gift to send. And finally, we've got this, the Curiosity Journal. This was sent to me just before Valentine's Day, but I didn't get a chance to look at it. But it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got all different pages in it to help you ease up what's on your mind, what you're worried about, work, relationships, anything really, which is perfect. It was created during the first lockdown. And it's got a lovely mustard linen bound cover as well. And the link for this is also in its own blog over on the website. So if I get any other bits and pieces, I will tag them on to the end of this video. But currently, these are my suggestions for Mother's Day. So as you get in there quick because it will soon be Mother's Day and then it will be Easter before you know it. So hopefully I'll have a few more bits to show you in a couple of weeks. Hi Catch everyone, I am interrupting my own video to, it's not an ad, but to give you a charity speech. <laughs> my mum and I are walking 10,000 steps this March, I was going to say May then, no, this March for Cancer Research UK and we need sponsors, we need donations, we are trying to raise as much money as possible. I have a fundraising target of £100. Mum has one of £150. We've got two separate links, so you can donate to either of them. But please, 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 if you have a spare pound, 50p, a fiver, a tenner, anything, please follow the link in my bio to donate and I will keep everybody updated with my progress. Today is day two of our current walks. We started it a day early. I did 11,000 yesterday and I'm currently on six and a half thousand today and it's only 11.30 a.m. We are taking this really seriously. We are going out wind, rain, snow, sleet, hail, sunshine, anything to get these steps done this March. So please, 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 I don't often ask for much, but please, please, please go to the link in the bio if you can afford to. If not, please share it across social media and help us reach our target this March for Cancer Research UK. Thanks, guys. Welcome back to the video. Not welcome back to the video. <laughs>
now go back to the Mother's Day guide where I'm actually in this attire because I've just filmed it before this. But please, guys, if you can donate, please, I'll be very, very, very grateful. And you won't have to listen to me moaning about it. Thank you. Bye. Hi, everyone. I'm back with the second half of this video to show you the rest of the products for the Mother's Day gift guide, which has now gone live on the blog, which is ditchitsdiary.com. And there's links and everything you need to know in that blog. But if we start with Anna Elizabeth candles. So it came in this box, but I've unboxed it. And we've got this gorgeous candle, Coconut Island. It smells amazing. So you've got that little one. We've got Miss Fragrance, which is a wax melt. And oh, it smells so good. I can't wait to burn it burn it in my wax burner yeah burn it in my wax burner and then these are perfect if you want to post them straight to somebody all this little set was packaged beautifully inside that box these are a selection of different tea lights so we have got dove soap we've got pure comfort this is golden orchid i'm not sure how you say that ode wood ode wood this one is Spring Unstoppables, which is one of my favourites. And Vapor Rub, which I don't like, but I'm pretty sure my mum would absolutely love because she's obsessed with Vic. I don't really know why. It cures everything, apparently. But yeah, so that's that little set. And then I've got another little set of tea lights as well. I can't get the box shut. Oh, I can't shut the box, so let's try again. And this one's got all different ones in, so I'm not going to list them all. You can see it on their website. But honestly, they smell amazing. And I've burnt a few of them already. And the ones that I've burnt smell so good. And like when you blow it out, it smells not like burning. It smells like the scent for like longer. So when I blow them out in the evening, when I come back down to get a bottle for Ez, it still smells really nice in here. And they're really strong when the room gets really warm as well. Because we were like, what's that smell? Like, it's a really nice smell. But what is it? Like the heating came on last night and we couldn't work it out. And it was those where they'd got like warmer in the house. But yeah, so that is mentioned all on the blog with links to the company as well. Anna Elizabeth Candles, they're just celebrating their first birthday today. It's happy birthday to them. They're a small company from Wales. And the labels can be personalised as well if you want a message on them or use them for an event. So I absolutely love them and recommend them. And I love the frosted effect on the candles. And then I've got these cards to show you. So these aren't strictly Mother's Day, but they're from Hazel B and I think they are awesome. So you've got that one which says, marry me. What? Nothing. Where's my chocolate cake? Don't know. And then this one, what do you want to do for dinner? I'm still in the mood with you. All of these could be used in so many different situations. And there was loads on there as well that's suitable for what I would use for Mother's Day, depending obviously on how your mum is. But she sent me these for my wedding guide, which is coming up later on in my blog and on here. But these are awesome. You put them on and then when you're looking at things, it comes all up in hearts. Like I'm looking at the screen right now and all I can see is hearts. I don't know if it's going to show you if I do it on the camera. But um, it's all to do with the reflection of light. I don't think it shows. I'll try it on a window and see if that works. But they're brilliant. So I'm, I'm going to be including those with the wedding gifts for people. So the next two items I am actually wearing. So I've got these leggings, which I've got on from Love Leggings. They are just the standard black leggings and they are so good. Like I have introduced mum to the world of leggings in the last six months and she now loves them. And these would make the perfect gift. They're so comfy like so comfy so love leggings for those and this is the last item i've got to show you and i haven't stopped wearing it since it arrived it's from a company i might get the name wrong and i apologize if i do called muri m-y-r-i and this is the two washers oh, i can't get close enough to the camera the two washers and they've got ezra and ethan on one and on the other you can't quite pick it up on the camera there's some better photos on the blog 
but they do all gorgeous different necklaces. You could get like a single one with an initial on it, with a star sign on it, in gold, sterling silver, which is what I've got, and rose gold. And, oh, they're just gorgeous. Like, just, yeah, I was so happy when it arrived. It arrived in the most beautiful box with all the tissue paper as well. So it'd be a perfect present to send to somebody if, you know, you're not going to see them, if they're not local. But yeah, they haven't been around too long either. So please go and support all these small businesses that I've shared with you over kind of these last two videos. And if you want to obviously read more about them. And I have mentioned other businesses in my blog post on ditchitsdiaries.com. But I, or ditchitsdiary.com, sorry, not diaries. <laughs> um, but I haven't mentioned them on here because I don't have a physical product to show you. So some of them are on the blog as well. So make sure you go and check it out. I hope all the mums on here that watch, follow me or are forced to listen to me because your child watches me have a lovely Mother's Day when it comes round. I will be spending it with Ez because Ethan is in Florida with his dad. But yeah, I hope you like the products. I hope you go and support these small businesses for Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, birthdays, anniversaries, anything. Because they are such lovely small businesses that I have had the pleasure to work with. So guys, I will see you again soon. Bye.